Hey you guys, it's Ritz here. I actually just wanted to come and film a video of how I do uh, my lazy girl hairstyle going from crochet dreads or faux dreads to just a lazy bun for the week. So this is really just going to be my video of how I just show you guys I transitioned from one hairstyle to the next. So I start off by just showing you guys my two week old hairstyle. The reason why I don't have these in for like a month or so is really just because um, I work out. I've, well, I recently just started working out and I hate the smell of old sweat hair. I know it sounds really gross, but you know, that's basically just the reason why I am taking down these crochet braids. So I start off by basically just sectioning my hair off, taking the braids out very slowly. Obviously, this video is sped up, so that's the reason why, um, you know, it looks like I'm a lot more rough to my hair than what I actually am. So I'm basically just showing you guys how I'm removing them. So you'll see coming up where one of my faux dreads are actually getting stuck to my hair and how I slowly just pull it apart strand by strand to prevent any more breakage. So just make sure that you're careful when you're pulling out or when you're doing the takedown for your faux dreads that it doesn't uh, break your hair because the whole point is that it's a protective style. All right, so it has been a couple hours actually since I've um, officially taken out all my hair and I put in a bun. I'm actually about to go head into the shower now. I just, because I just feel so sick, um, I just started to develop a headache and a, a cough. So just, you know, and I still gotta work out today. So I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to come back and show you guys my hair before I actually head into the shower. And I'm actually still going to be filming me um, blow drying my hair. I'm not washing my hair only because I'm not, you know, I'm not going to have y'all shower with me while I wash my hair. But, um, and I'll show you guys, I'll tell you guys how much shedding I have. Just from me raking my hair a little bit, I have a little bit of shedding. You can't really see that much, but that's natural. You're, you're actually supposed to, on average, shed about 100 strands of hair a day, I believe. So when you have shedding, it's don't, you know, don't don't think too much about it but anyways i uh, just wanted to head back just wanted to show you guys what my hair looked like um and it doesn't my hair when it gets dirty it's not like like dandruff it's more just smell and i know some people they can go like a month without washing their hair i can't i can go like a week and a half two weeks at the most to be honest with you but oh i got a headache um Yep, so I'm just about to head into the shower. You guys will see me in just a minute or so. All right, bye. Uh, 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 we get it from my mama. Shake. We get it from my mama. Shake. We get it from my mama. Shake. We get it from my mama. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I got melanin. All right, so I'm about to take off my t-shirt because my hair is semi-dry right now. And what you're going to see me do is you're going to see me basically just separate my hair into four separate sections. Um, I'm just going to twist up that side really quickly, set it aside just so it doesn't get into the way of my blow drying and detangling process. Well, I didn't really have to tangle too much because I already did so in the shower. But you're going to see me first uh, put on the Aunt Jackie's Curly Cream. Um, I really just do this because I just want some moisture in my hair before I blow dry. And after this, um, yep, yeah, my apologies. I'm actually just raking it into my hair. And then I put the oil mix on my ends. And like I stated beforehand, it's really just to protect my ends. And then you're going to see me spray the Tresemme Heat Protectant Spray. So first, I'm just letting you know that I have a Revlon blow dryer. And I put it on cool. And um, as you can see, I'm really just pulling my hair. Not too much, very gently. 
and I'm basically as you notice I'm just I put the nozzle down basically so I can get at my roots because I want my roots to be dry first you notice that I don't pay too much attention to my ends when I'm blow drying at first only because I just really want to protect my ends and you know just make sure that I uh, get no split ends possible and then as you can see here how I hold the wet brush and you'll see this is basically just so I can start blow drying my hair on medium heat right now because I just put it up and um, I'm again really just doing this very slowly it's sped up of course but I am going very slowly with this and now you'll see me actually brush through because now my hair is mostly already dry this process for each section can take approximately 10 minutes again it's sped up and I do have deleted footage as well so you're not really seeing the whole process but you just see how I'm very gently blow drying it's still on medium heat by the way so I added the heat protectant um really just for I obviously for protection I don't want any uh heat damage but you'll see that I'm very slowly um taking you know piece by piece section by section who enjoying the wind right there <laughs> but now I'm just gonna honestly just put this away and off camera, I'm actually going to be working on the other four sections. And you'll see right now, obviously, I'm on my last section. And as you see, I'm basically just doing the same process again, which is, you know, make sure that I get the roots and stretch out the roots. And as you can see, I'm not necessarily focusing on the ends until a little later. Again, this is on medium heat. But first, I go on cool then I move to medium heat once my hair is mostly dry. So then you'll see me actually take out all of the clips. I'm not gonna lie, I do play in my hair just a little bit. <laughs> um, and right now what I'm doing, I'm just brushing it out because again, I'm gonna section it off and I put more heat protectant in because right now, I don't know about you guys, but right, my hair is blow dried, but it's not as smooth as I would like it to be. So again, I just section it off and I section this off too as well. Put more heat protectant in because I'm actually gonna be going on hot and I'm putting it on a high heat. And this is actually pretty accurate as far as the time frame goes, only because um, I don't like to focus too much on high heat. I'm very quick when it comes down to this. This is really just so it turns out to be a lot more smooth and more flat. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm now focusing on a little bit more to the ends, but not too much. I'm really just focusing on, um, honestly, just making my hair as smooth as possible. So, there we go. We're really just doing, you know, very quickly, just making it a lot more smooth. As you can see, it honestly, you may not see a difference, but it actually is a lot more flat. It's not as, like, volum voluminous as it could be. So, you'll see again, I'm actually working on my last section right now. And you guys, I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize how crusty I looked in. <laughs> I looked in this video, but it was my day off. And I'm just really, I'm sick, so as you can tell by my voice. So right now I'm in the bathroom just doing a mini length check, I guess you could say. Um, I do trim my hair or get my hair professionally trimmed often. My hair does grow a, very fast, but I actually just got within four months, probably about four four to five inches taken off and that's really just because I had um, uh, a little bit of damage from deep conditioning my hair every week so but right now as you can see besides that point I'm actually just brushing my hair back a little bit and I call it my lazy girl week because I don't hairstyle week because I don't want to do too much of my hair this week and instead of spending like two days on my hair doing a twist that I'd rather just wear it in a bun for the next week. So I take that extra control, put it on my edges. Um, it looks like a lot, but it's actually not too much. And you'll see me flip my hair around and I'm doing the back as well. Brush that up. There we go. And you'll see that I'm now gathering my hair into the bun onto the ponytail. And I honestly just use a standard ponytail holder um, I make sure that the ponytail holder doesn't have any metal parts so that my hair doesn't get snagged. Um, it is a cloth ponytail and you'll see that it has rubber inside of the cloth. I just got this from, um, from Walmart. So, 
there we go and then you'll see me pull out my sock bun i'll show you guys how i make that in a later video but as you can see i'm just pulling it over my hair i put my hair in between that and then i take another pony to hold it up to smaller one than before and i'm actually just doing it according to size as you guys know this is like i said it's my lazy girl bun i'm not going to specify i'm not going to try and make the bun perfect i'm really just trying to make it so that i look presentable when i leave my house as you can see i'm kind of feeling myself a little bit right there <laughs> all right so um now if you can't tell from the video but i actually secured um semi-secured the back into the bun so now i'm just going to be laying my edges you'll see a little later on i actually add more edge control and um I really like to lay my edges only because personally I don't like my natural hairline so I like my edges out a little bit just to basically shape and frame my face a little better um yes and my edges are very long I've been trying to actually work on them becoming uh, long uh, I, I got the basically if your edges are very short it's due to probably a lot of pulling that you have so as you can see I'm actually really excited because it actually looks pretty good it's just a standard lazy girl hair week, and it's just my uh, regular regular self. So there you go. Just got a Snapchat my hairstyle. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just using different filters. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. If you could should please uh, like and subscribe to my video, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, bye. And we got some fat ass too. We can shake it better than you. Attitude on H and I see. Blame it on the HBCU.